Well, they promise we'll uh, get all sides uh, to this particular matter. I spoke uh, in the week uh, with uh, Senator Dino Malai on this particular matter, the Treasury single account and issues uh, emanating from that particular uh, system. John Obara joins us now. He's the Managing Director of System Specs. Uh, good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning. We saw you write in that report uh, very quickly. Take us through the System uh, uh, Specs uh, activities with the Treasury single account before we get to the uh, matter on ground. Thank you very much. In 2011, we were invited to uh, participate in the process for the selection of a platform for the TSA. Uh, we bid it with uh, a local company and they looked at a foreign option and we were selected for the assignment. Um, and um, we started with payments in January 2012. And that has been going on well. We started with about 116 MDAs, which has increased to about 900, uh, and no problem with the payment side. The issues came when we were to start the collections. The collections were supposed to have started in 2013 January, but it didn't happen uh, until the president gave an order early this year, the former administration, that was supposed to have started in March. But it started very slowly until September, October, when the president gave his order. And then we now had a spike. So that was where the issues started from. So you differentiate between collection and payment. Yes. Uh, would you kind of shed more light on that? Now, payment is when government is paying out salaries, for instance, or to contractors. That has been going on, no problem. So you help government with payment yes. out to contractors? Yes. So salary payment for all civil servants, for instance, happen on the platform. And that's been going on until when collections was to start, which is government now receiving funds yeah. into her own account. That started, uh, like I said, effectively in March. This but year. This year. But there wasn't much traffic because there was quite some reluctance and hesitation. Um, MDA's accounts had not been closed in commercial banks, so people continue to pay into those accounts. You know, to think that this didn't just start, that's amazing. No, no. Because a lot of people thought this came with this uh, new ad administration when we talk about the, the TSA. And the you new say administration the, gave it the, bid came, the, the bid came as far back 2011, yes, right? Yes, please. Yes, please. And you finally started... W w in 2013. January 2012 was when payment started. So we've been paying out and stabilized. Like I said, we started with 116 MDAs. It's gone up to roughly 900 now. But the collection leg had not started. What's the essence of uh, system specs coming into the fray when we talk about paying out? Is it something that the government agency or were there leakages somewhere that you were able to plug? You see, the, the whole idea of TSA is that government should have control over a view of all the accounts. I mean, um, as at the last count, for instance, about 17,000 accounts have been closed. Okay. You can imagine trying to manage a system with 17,000 accounts. You don't know who has what, where. So we're putting, we've put in place a system to keep track of all the MDs, the accounts that they have. It's still one account but you're able to manage each MDA independently. So were you shocked when on, you know, sometime uh, this year on the floor of the Senate, you heard Senator Dino Melai speaking about, uh, you know, a, a company, Remita, you know, collecting so much money for doing nothing? Well, let's put it this way. We respect um, the role of the National Assembly in the oversight function, okay? Um, the way the motion came uh, was a bit um, harsh, with all due respect, uh, because we thought you know, some judgments were made before the full facts were available. But having said that, I mean, we've had the privilege of meeting with them to at least shed some light on what has been going on. Um, so yeah, Senator Daniel Miller, um, who incidentally is my senator in the uh, Senate, you know, was right to raise an issue. The language may not have been right. I mean, I may not be comfortable with the language, but I think it's all right to raise issues of concern across any sector of the economy. Now, what was it um, 
that caused the delay was if payments had been going on smoothly. Yes, please. How is it that when it was time to collect, you were having issues? Were the issues with the government, with the civil servant, the government, or with your system? No, no, no. Obviously not the system. You see, when you're looking at payments, that's easier to handle. For collections, you're trying to now say all funds should come into one account where you're going to manage it from. Don't forget, banks were already keeping these funds before. So there's some change management you have to handle. Okay? Banks were keeping these funds. They were trading with these funds, okay? uh, possibly lending back to government itself at 15%. Okay, so you, you have a number of issues that you need to manage to successfully transit from moving those accounts from banks into the central bank. What was the agreement then you had with the government? The, the exact agree agreement you had with the The agreement we have with the government is to provide a payment gateway for the central bank to handle electronic payments and electronic collections. So that we, we get, before we get to the matter, let's also, we'll come back to what uh, Nyota has raised now. Right. You know, two issues came up okay. so that we know if we're talking about two different entities here now. Uh, there was Remita, there was System Specs, uh, but it is just you we've been talking to. Right. So tell us, uh, is it uh, uh, one and the same or a different firm? System Specs is a software house. We've been in business for about 24 years. Um, we support Sun Systems accounting software. A number of people know that. And then we have Human Manager, which is a homegrown application. Now, that manages human resources. We just name our products after what they do. Then we have Remita, which is for remittance of funds. So Remita is a product of System Specs. Remita is not a company. Remita is a product, a software platform, um, and that is what we now use for this uh, TSA project. So it's a platform that uh, you've been able to develop, uh, you say, and it is basically for collection and monitoring of revenue. 100% Nigerian developed. So how has it been working when we talk about uh, uh, monitoring and collection of revenues for, uh, for government? Okay. One of the things we do, for instance, you have an account you're able to monitor, or several accounts. On one screen, government is able to see the balance of all her accounts. So as many accounts as you have, you're able to run it and have a gross total so you know what the TSA balance is at any point in time. Before now, it's been difficult, in fact, practically impossible to know what your cash position is. Now you have a platform that can give you all of that at a go. Two, you can make payments out of that account. Each of the MDAs, they have approving officers. Okay, maybe two or three, depending on how they've been set up. Transactions go through those approval paths before the account is debited, and the beneficiary account is credited either in a commercial bank or in a microfinance bank. That's for the payments. And then you're able to keep a proper log of all the transactions. So you know at any point in time who approved what. 